Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Spanish tragedy and today we get to hear from Hieronimo and the painter really quickly from Act 3, Scene 12a, as it is known in some versions. In other versions, it's Act 3, Scene 13, but 12a is just really fun and weird. So we're going with that. And in this scene, it's kind of the middle of the night, and Jaques and Pedro, who are a couple of Hieronimo's servants, were outside and they're talking about how like what a what a messed up mental state Hieronimo is in because he's still grieving for his son and then Hieronimo comes out and they're like you know you're talking a little crazy because you're grief stricken he's like you're terrible for calling me out on that and you're totally wrong and I'm fine and my son is around here somewhere I'll find him behind one of these trees or whatever and Isabella comes out and she tries to get him to go back inside but he's like you know remember this this tree this tree specifically is the one where we found our son hanging and so they have a moment about the tree and then there's a, a knock on the door and it's a painter who comes in just sort of nice and randomly this painter comes in because the painter wants justice and they're like what could you possibly want justice for and the painter's like well I have a son who was murdered I had a son who was murdered at which point Hieronimo is like hold hold okay all the rest of you the rest of you can leave I'm gonna sit here and have a chat with my man about about sons and loss because he gets it you know we're we're in the same place so everybody else leaves and Hieronimo and the painter get to sit and have a chat and he's like you know you're a painter you can paint these sorts of things and those sorts of things and they discover that Hieronimo, Hieronimo is familiar with the painter's work and so he's like you know and and could you paint this tree and and could you paint could you paint um, like me coming in and and looking all triumphant and having my sword? And he starts describing almost more like a movie as opposed to a, a painting, even though they didn't know what movies were back then. But he's he's asking the painter to paint the story of how he found his son. And as he goes along and the painter's like, yeah, I can I could do that. And he's like, you know, and, and paint me coming in with my sword drawn and everything. The painter's like, OK, yeah, and I could do that. And Hieronimo says, well, sir, then bring me forth, bring me through alley and alley, still with a distracted countenance going along and let my hair heave up my nightcap. Let the clouds scowl, make the moon dark. The stars extinct, the winds blowing, the bells toiling, the owls shrieking, the toads croaking, the minutes jarring, and the clock striking twelve. And then, at last, sir, starting, behold a man hanging and tottering and tottering. As you know, the wind will wave a man. And I, with a trice, to cut him down. And looking upon him by the advantage of my torch, find it to be my son Horatio. There you may show a passion. There you may show a passion. Draw me like old Priam of Troy crying, The house is afire, the house is afire, as the torch over my head. Make me curse, make me rave, make me cry, make me mad, make me well again, make me curse hell, invocate heaven, and in the end, leave me in a trance, and so forth. And is this the end? Oh, no, there is no end. The end is death and madness, as I am never better than when I am mad. Then methinks I am a brave fellow. Then I do wonders, but reason abuseth me. And there's the torment, there's the hell. At the last, sir, bring me to one of the murderers. Were he as strong as Hector, thus I would tear and drag him up and down. And then the stage directions say that he beats the painter in I guess maybe like beats him to go inside the house and Hieronimo goes in with him, but then he comes back out with a book. And that's the end of this weird little act three scene 12 a, but what he's, what he's describing here is a story that we all know very well at this point. He's asking the painter to draw him in this horrible night coming upon a tree and cutting down a man from the tree and realizing that the man is his child and then falling into this pit of despair. And when the painter's like, so is that the end of the story? He's like, no, 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 that's nowhere near the end of the story because I, there's all this madness 
that comes after it. And the only reason why I'm going to be able to do anything or accomplish anything is because I've gone crazy at this point. So, um, yeah, at this point I could, I could beat anybody up. And then he sends the painter inside and comes back out with a book. And that's the end of the scene. So come on back tomorrow for more. We've still got a ways to go. It is, there's like 16 scenes or 15 and a half in act three. And then we still have act four to go with quite a few scenes left in it. And we got to figure out what's going on. Is he going to make it through this madness? Is the madness going to do him in? What's going to happen to Balthazar and Lorenzo? We still haven't checked in with Don Andrea in a while. So there's, there's still plenty of stuff that needs to get wrapped up once we are able to navigate through all the depths of Hieronimo's grief. So come on back. We will get through all of that and get to an ending at some point. But you got to come back to find out what that ending is. I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.